nice green helmet on. You look like you've got like Irish colours on today. I like the colour, but I suspect that if I actually came off the bike, the helmet wouldn't be far behind. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a little bit loose. There you go. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty pointless helmets, but quite a few people have just got like bike helmets on. Mm -hmm. Some people don't wear a helmet at all. Yeah, mine's too big as well. And when I took it off yesterday, I had a massive line across my head. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where we're going, we're going to the we're gonna try and go to the cable yeah. car, but it's about it's a, a long, long scooter ride, so we're probably gonna to have to stop a few times. Yeah. I think Google Maps says fifty minutes, but it's gonna take us at least yeah. an hour. That's think, probably in a so. car. The first thing that strikes you when you arrive at the location of the cable car is the sheer size of the resort that's being built here. Now while the cable car is definitely the centrepiece of this, the buildings that they've used in the resort are very fake looking and are not in keeping with the rest of the island at all. It's something that we really didn't like when we visited here, um, but I do think that the ride on the cable car is good value for money, and that alone it's probably worth a visit. So the cable car can reach speeds of up to 30 kilometres an hour, so it really does feel as if you're flying over the ocean at certain points. Despite that, it does feel very stable and the concrete supporting beams are really impressive. It takes 20 minutes each way to do the trip and it's the longest cable car in the world at just under 8 kilometres using a three cable system. If you choose to get off at Pineapple Island, then there's free transfers down to a man-made beach area with water sports and a few restaurants and bars. Uh, we chose not to do this because we weren't really interested in going to the beach. There is also a water park being built, but this wasn't finished at the point that we visited. How are you enjoying the world's longest cable ride? <laughs> cable car? Very nice, but the, probably the best thing about it is that whenever we go down the dip, everybody goes, Woo! <laughs> 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 it is more like a roller coaster at times. It's very green. managed to find the prison in the end. <laughs> we found the monument first, the prison entrance was a bit harder to find, but I think that's just because of how big the actual site is. But apparently, I think this was built in 1949, um, originally for political prisoners and then the Vietnam War, the Americans used this for um, housing uh, Vietnam soldiers that were captured um, and there were up to 40,000 here at any one time which is a huge amount 
for the size, so we're going to have a look around. So the museum's free to enter, um, and I think it's just like a little self-guided tour, so you can just walk around the different buildings and then there's some information at each stage. These are the tiger cages that the Americans use, so they're made out of barbed wire. And the prisoners could only wear shorts and they had to stay out here in all weathers with very, very little food and drink. So quite a brutal torture method. <laughs> 